need to find the diameter of the moon without using Google. So, can we do it using perhaps the pencil? Seriously? Yeah. Find out the diameter of the moon with a pencil? Yep. Show me how to do it. All you have to do is hold up the blunt end, the eraser, uh -huh. until it blocks the moon. So just get it far away enough. Okay. And bam! That's all you need to do. But the thing is, you need to know the measure of this pencil first. So the diameter of this blunt end is zero, uh, I believe, five millimeters. Okay. So that means that this five millimeter diameter pencil can block the moon if it's standing about 0 0.5 meters away from you. And we already know that the distance from the moon to here is about 3.8 times 10 to the 5 kilometers. Okay. So that means that we're all set to find the radius of the moon. Okay, I see where this is going. You're trying to use the proportion mm -hmm. to uh, measure the moon. So uh, this blocks the moon a little bit. I get it moved to, to the point it blocks the whole thing, right? Yeah. I mean, it blocks the whole moon, right? Then you calculate the proportion between this distance and the distance to the moon. Yeah. And uh, multiply that by the, uh, I guess, the diameter of this pencil. Right? Yeah. Roughly, something like that. Did I get it right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> okay. let's do the calculations for this. Times 10 to the 5. That's kilometers. uh that's kilometers, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. So that we need is about what? About uh, 0 0.5 meters, I think. 0 0.5 that much? I don't think I hold for that much. And maybe more like 0 0.2, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm a uh, I'm a tiny kid. Pretend I'm not a tiny kid. Okay. <laughs> Divide by 0 0.5 meters, right? You want right. this. And then you multiply that by the uh, diameter of the pencil, which you said is uh, five, five mi millimeters. millimeters. So, so that's point zero zero five yeah. meters. All right. So that gives you three point times ten to the power of eight. Then that becomes seven point eight. I mean seven point six, right? Yeah. You divide by half. Oh, actually, we have 0.5 here. You can cancel each other. Yeah. If we cancel 5 here, cancel 5 here, then we get uh, uh, 0 0, 0 0.01 left here, right? Yep. 0 0.01 left here, you basically take out 2 out of this. You get 3.8 times 10 to the power of 6. Oh, pretty quick math. Well, I'm a graduate student, man. It was pretty interesting. And I like the way you solved it. It was different than mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, anyway, it's math. Everybody has different ways to do it. You take this. This is your eye. And now, let's say this is the pencil. So, this is the blunt end of the pencil. We'll just ignore the rest of it because I can't see it behind there. So now, that over there is the moon. Well, like a flat projection of the moon. So, uh, this is how it's supposed to look like. Yep. So, uh, even though I may have not drawn it correctly, that's it. All right. So, now what is the diameter of this pencil? Well, that would be five millimeters. I was holding it half a meter away from my eye, and the moon, let's say it's 3.8 times 10 to the five kilometers from where I'm standing. So, first of all, we have to come up uh, and convert these and these into meters. So, this kilometer needs 10 to the 3, 10 to the 5, plus 3 to each. And then 5 millimeters, milli, is 10 to the 2. This is 0 0.005 meters. So, this is obviously going to be 0 0.005 meters. This is 0 0.5 meters. That is 3.8 times 10 to the 8 meters. And 
we are trying to find this because we're trying to find the diameter of this. Now, it's actually pretty easy, even though we don't know this side. How is it that easy? Well, let's look at this smaller triangle. We can actually find theta using the smaller triangle. So, theta, so what are the sides we know? We know a side that's adjacent, and we know a side that's opposite. So we're going to use toa. Tan theta is equal to opposite 0 0.005 over adjacent 0 0.5. So theta is equal to tan inverse of this whole thing. So theta is equivalent to approximately 0 0.57 degrees. So now it gets even better because we don't really need this measurement. How? Well, if we know this theta, and then we have this, which is effectively 3.8 times 10 to the 8 meters, and 0 0.5 doesn't make a difference in that, then we can find this angle really easily. Why? Well, first of all, we need to use tan again. So tan theta is equal to opposite, which is what we're finding, over adjacent, which is what we know. Now what's even better is that tan theta is exactly the same as this. Don't we realize that? So that means we don't even really need to know theta, because we can just substitute this for 0 0.005 over 0 0.5. So now, this is equal to 0 0.01. And now, all we need to do is 0 0.01 is equal to 10 to the negative 2. So now, we multiply both sides by 3.8 times 10 to the 8. So, that means what we're trying to find, the diameter of the moon, is 3.8 times 10 to the 8 times 10 to the negative 2, which makes 10 to the 6. So if we want to round that up, the diameter of the moon is 4 times 10 to the 6 meters. I wonder if this is the way they found out the real, dis uh, the real diameter of the moon. Yeah, I don't know. What's the answer if you Google it? Uh, I think 4 times 10 to the 6, which is approximately what we got. Oh, okay. 